Happy Friday. Um, we are going to look at the second mystery here. Uh, the first was Christ's dual nature. And I mentioned that there's two types of mysteries. The one is the things that we cannot understand, theological truths that are too profound for us to comprehend. Um, the second are a little bit uh, more readily understand. It's just a profound statement of truth. And in verse 20, uh, we get the, the, first, um, the first part of a three-part equation. So it says, Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior. So that's the bad part of the equation. And I just want to camp here for a second. Um, in order to appreciate the good news... <laughs> We have to understand the bad news. And, uh, and the bad news is that outside of Christ, we are enemies of God because of our sinful and selfish thoughts and actions. This is not a popular truth. It wasn't popular when Paul said it. It's not popular today. Although I, I do feel like uh, we've sort of moved in the last couple years into a spot where we're not necessarily denying this. For a while, there, there's a lot of, been a lot of utopian beliefs. Uh, I mean, and we can back up you know, 50, 60 years, and, and the argument was, 100 years, the argument was with a little bit more time, a little bit more education, a little bit more technology, a little bit more whatever, we're gonna fix all our problems. Because we're essentially good people, and a little bit more conversation, and a little bit more, um, you know, just a little bit more education, and we're all going to get along. Um, it doesn't feel to me like anybody thinks that anymore. <laughs> it feels to me like uh, we're sort of descending into a situation where what people are after is power so they can force their will. Paul leads out by saying, we uh, are in trouble. We are enemies of God. And again, you may not like this. You may think you're better than other people, but... Um, that would be denial, and it, and it sort of prevents you from understanding that you need a savior, not just a coach. Um, so, many people do not get the bad news. Uh, they don't understand how, how harmful their actions are. Now, um, a number of years ago, uh, when George uh, W. Bush was president, you might remember, uh, he was speaking, he was overseas, and uh, a reporter, I can't remember if he was in Iran or Afghanistan or wherever he was, uh, maybe it was Afghanistan, but a reporter threw a shoe at him. And, um, you know, he dodged the shoe, it wasn't any big deal. But this guy ends up going to prison, this reporter, for throwing a shoe at the president. So I remember thinking, um, wow, my brothers and I threw shoes at each other all the time. And with Austin and, and Ben and Jason, you know, that was sort of a game sometimes, was to throw shoes at each other, uh, among other things. And all done very lovingly. But uh, here, this guy's going to, going to prison because he threw a shoe at the president. So in that culture, it, it's, it's quite an offense, but it's also because he threw it at the president. And so you may not think that your actions are that, all that bad, but sometimes small actions aimed at the wrong person are, are cataclysmic in their, in their nature. We have sinned against God, and we are in huge trouble. But Paul writes, this is the second part of this three-part equation, Paul writes that we have been reconciled by Christ's physical body through death. So we have sinned against God, but God is the one who is able to rescue us. We were alienated, but God became one of us in order to engineer our redemption. So we're in trouble, but Christ died, uh, reconciled us to his death, to himself through his death. And that leads uh, to the third point, which is the point for the weekend. Think about this. In Christ, we are holy in Christ his sight without blemish and free from accusation <laughs> we are free from accusation we are holy in his sight when god looks at me small sinful broken person that i am he sees christ and so uh, i am holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation because of what jesus has done that's good news carry it with you this weekend see you next week